Colorado Springs, Colorado. So today is a Friday night and I just got home literally 30 minutes ago. It was my only off day. Like I always say, I only get one day off. I get two. Sometimes it hasn't happened happened in so long. So one day off every week and I always exhausted. <laughs> Woke up in the mornings, did my laundry, spring cleaned. So, I want to guys like uh like I got stuff it again. Spring cleaned, um what else did I do? Showered, went to Erica to get a haircut because I get a haircut every week. I try to get a haircut every week. And I went to go get uh, some groceries and get myself flowers. Uh, I haven't bought myself flowers in like two weeks now and I always want to buy them like every week. You know, they make me smile so much. It's like a... I like this old flower. So these are... These are my favorite lilies. So yeah. So I'm finally going to cook for you guys today. And what I'm making is, is a very basic meal, right? Very basic meal, it's, it, this was my best seller back at home. Very, very wings or barbecue wings, and you get that with potato wedges. Uh, potato wedges, you get it with pan seared corn, and you choose between a coleslaw and a green salad. Jo! Let you know how you are going to go. Tell me that I'm going to go at 3 a.m. this month, specifically. Chef, I'm going to go at 3 a.m. this month. Even not sticky pad top will be sick. You know, when I got two three mat, oh my tail rates, I'm selling to a how about people back at home? They love, love, love. So, yeah, I'm gonna pay this for you guys, and hopefully, you guys like it also. I'm gonna have David do visuals for me so I can attach them. So you wanna, if you have cooking spray, go ahead. Uh, 
uh, but you can just a little, a little bit of toilet oil in your pan. What I always do uh, is get foil, right? So instead of, because who wants to see the pan, right? So instead of just spreading, uh, putting my wings directly on the pan, I put foil and then put the wings <laughs> and put whatever meat is it that I'm cooking on top of the foil so that when I'm done, I just remove the foil in the bin and my pan is still clean. So if you have foil, go ahead and do that. But if not, uh, just a little spread of olive oil on your pan or just a cooking spray. Psh around your pan and you're good to go and you're nicely gonna arrange your chicken wings onto your sheet tray and then throw it in the oven right so you're gonna quickly arrange these here see humbango line so yeah, I'm just quickly gonna arrange these so that they cook evenly because now if you put a little DNT, you can have a little bit of a hand. How do you put your hand? You have a little bit of a hand. So you gotta make sure that you the space between each wing uh, so that they all cook uh, evenly and cook nicely. You understand? So yeah. I'm sure you've seen every time you cook chicken and you put everything uh, tightly together how it comes out. You don't want that. Uh, so you gotta make sure that there's space between each each wing and then yeah so that they bake evenly. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of more spice on these wings. Go to you fella, just a sprinkle my love. Just a sprinkle. And then there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven. Uh, before I cut my wings, I had preheated my oven to 425. Uh, you can uh, other ovens. Uh, I didn't say nanny if so. <laughs> you can preheat your oven to 190 degrees, and then yeah, before you cut your wings, heat up your heat up your oven. So that by the time you throw in your wings, your oven is already hot. So that's what you want to do. My oven is already hot, so I'm going to quickly throw these in and then start on my next project. So I just washed my potatoes. I'm going to cut it into wedges. One. Right. So I cut, a potato, I cut a potato in half, and then I get a half, and then this half I cut it into three, right? So that I get beautiful wedges. Because if I cut it in half, if I cut this in half, it's a wedge, but it's not a perfect wedge. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, cut all my potatoes. So I'm gonna place my, uh, place my potatoes in the, in the pot and I'm gonna give them a boil, right? So instead of just adding water, I add chicken broth. So what does this do, right? This is gonna add flavor to your potatoes so that when you do deep fry them and season them, not only the outside has flavor, but also the inside, right? Uh, so yeah. If you don't have uh, liquid chicken stock, you can just get your normal chicken cubes and then throw them in there and just add water. Just make sure that uh, the water covers all your potatoes and then we're going to keep that a boil uh, till your potatoes are, uh, are cooked. Not cooked all the way through, but just till you can put a, f a, a fork through your potatoes.
while we wait for our food to finish cooking, I'm gonna show you guys a spot that I checked out a few weeks ago when I was off. Loved, absolutely loved it here. So that's why I feel like I have to share it with you guys. It's called Lumen 8 uh, Rooftop Social. Uh, it's in downtown. Absolutely, absolutely loved it here. The food was amazing. There's a few food items that were not cooked to my perfection, like the, the salmon, but everything else was stunning. The cocktails are oh, beautiful. The mountain views. Ah, loved it. <laughs> Very reasonable prices. So check it out when you get the chance, okay? Before we start plating up, I have to show you guys this place, okay? <laughs> so if all is stuff I a gay man or a lesbian or just a straight person that just like likes nice things, this is the place that you want to check out. It's called Icons. It's a bar. It's a gay bar, right? So what's interesting about this bar is that the entire stuff from your servers waiters security uh they all professional singers and throughout the night uh they just uh, start singing <laughs> randomly and it's just so beautiful i remember the first time i visited icons it was in new york city in broadway one of my friends chandani in a tangue took me there and i was the happiest fag you'll ever come across so beautiful Ah, loved it here. Even the bar owner uh, came to me and to introduce himself and show me his husband. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so nice. Ah, love it. Watch.
Good day, we must know. Can't do it a lunch. Don't go to him. Oh, I got a cabbie to move from an anaco guy. Saint Hilaria, two more. Ah, hello, hello. Oh, Chema Munat, Ubiola. Hey guys, it's a Saturday morning and I'm heading to work. Um, quickly rushing to the bus stop. Uh, I have a few minutes to catch the bus. It's uh, free for the month of August and I've just been doing the most to exhausted. Hello, driver and Bonafala. Hello, Mohani. It's me again. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I'm doing the most okay. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys like the recipes that I shared. Hopefully, you guys will try them at home when you do get the chance. I would appreciate it. Comment below this video and let me know uh, what you think about the recipes and uh, if you executed the recipes the way I did. Quick and easy recipes, less time in the kitchen and more time in the living room uh, to spend with your loved ones. So yeah, bye guys.